Hey guys and welcome to a quick tutorial video on how to fix all that broken CC that happened with the new expansion pack Cats and Dogs coming out. So I just, it's going to be so, so quick, so quick. But link down below, basically what you need is the Sims 4 Studio. They have their own website, sims4studio.com. And if you go into here to download Sims 4 Studio open beta version, and then depending on whether you're on Windows, you download Wishes. If you're on a Mac, you download Candy Apple. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to download Wishes. It basically details the kind of the new features. Look, there's a doggo! And it gives you what's been updated in each fix. So the current one has added support for Cats and Dogs expansion which is what we are looking for. So here to download, you can download the installer or you can download a zip folder with everything in it. I'm gonna click on the installer and download. I do already have this installed, but I'm just gonna show you for research purposes. Right, that's it downloaded. I'm going to click and open it and click run. Yes, I'm going to allow it and then follow this. I always add a desktop um, shortcut. So install that super quick, finish it. It will launch. And here we have Sims 4 Studio. Now to fix all of the CC that was broken in the patch, the patch broke the CC beds and then the new expansion pack coming broke i think a cast some of the cast items and also the love seats and sofas that were that were in the game so to do that all you need to do is go into tools go to batch fixes and go into objects and then fix objects for cats and dogs patch it's literally as simple as that you do that it says it locates your regular where your mod folder is and then also just to double be double safe it also creates a backup of the original files just in case something goes wrong so you can always go back and find your original files so I hit run now I've already done this so it's not going to be the same result but it is super duper quick it took maybe 30 seconds of processing to fix everything. So fix zero, unable to fix zero, no need to fix all of them because I've already done it. Now there is also, and then you do that and you're sorted, literally it writes, it fixes everything in the mod folder, that would be it for you. I think there's also a problem with the pet. I'm not too sure what got broken in this, but I have not done this one. So I'm gonna do this one. So we're just gonna, fix all of the cast items. I'm not too sure what, I know some like lashes maybe got broken. I I downloaded some updated lashes. I'm not too sure what else got fixed, but we'll just wait for this to process and to see what cast items needed to be fixed. Okay guys, so this has now been processed, okay. <laughs> Right, um, it has been a good 11 minutes. I actually thought something had gone wrong because it took so long. I've never had something take that long, but look, it thick, oh God, you can see my CC habit is strong. It fixed 1,086 items. I don't know what the hell was broken, but it fixed a lot and unable to fix two of them. I don't know what fixed, what couldn't be fixed. Um, no need to fix 604 of the items, okay. Perfect. Okay, so what I didn't notice earlier when I was recording this was that this folder is very helpful. This folder popped up when we finished. If you go into batch fixes and then you find the recent update that you did, which is this one, update cast CC for pets, you can find out which two items failed. So it's in my toddler hairs. So these two fail to be updated. Therefore, I'm gonna be removing them from my game. Yes. Uh, so hopefully that is now everything completely fixed because I had no failings on the 
build CC and so now I can get find these in my mods folder and remove those two and my game will be working perfectly fine. Now this program will also fix any out of date old CC you have for that's broken for other reasons. For example, the thing that I have done also in here is I've fixed dining tables and chairs for dine out. When dine out came out, it broke CC tables and chairs. So if that is a problem, if your Sims can't use them when they go to a restaurant, if you've got CC tables and they can't use them, that would be the reason. So you can click here and fix them for that. Also fix single bids for the monster compatibility. Uh, what was it that the monster came with? Was it parenthood? Might have been parenthood whatever it was that fixes that so that any CC beds you have will now have the monster in them. Fix CC lighting tuning. When the Sims team updated the lighting engine, it broke all of the CC lights. So if you get that script, uh, I think it's script error fail. If you try and place a light and it just says script error, that is because it's out of date CC, so you can fix it with this lighting tuning. Also, there's a pack of custom content lights that are like photography studio lights, and those are so old, they have never been updated by the creator. And so when I downloaded them, I ran this on them and it fixed them and then I could use them in my game. So that's what I use for if I do a cast shoot, I have studio lighting to add in. Uh, fix the mirror tuning. This happens a lot. People ask, it says script error when I try and place something. That means it's broken CC for mirrors or lighting. Those are the two things that can do it. And update CC counters for toddlers. That means toddlers can then play inside of your CC counters. Uh, same with bookcases. And then update CC TVs for video game console. So I didn't even know those were broken. But that's because I don't really have any CC TVs. Also, you have some cast options as well. You can disallow CC for random. So that means you're not going to get some funky looking townies with your CC on, which is always a bonus. Disallow CC for shower. There are a few creators that are a little bit sloppy and left their CC on. And, you know, if your sim went in the shower, it was wearing clothing. It wasn't naked. Yeah, that's that's you can fix it by clicking that and sorting all of that out in one go. Now, I would say just one word of advice for the disable CC for random. If you do this and you have the mod that removes all of the eyelashes in the game, which I have, you are going to have some scary, merry looking people. <laughs> so make sure you take that mod out of your game and then run the batch fix because it basically you have crazy looking crazy looking um townies walking around that just have eyeballs and no face so go ahead but anyway yep yeah, you can go through all these this is really just a quick thing to just show you how you can quickly fix your cc so it's all up and running for you again perfectly again so now that i have all of my cc fixed i can get back to my cc builds yes and i'm sure i have one coming for you within the next week so thank you so so much for watching any questions feel free to leave them down below but until next time bye guys